Easter, not Christmas, is the greatest Christian festival. We are reminded of this every week because Sunday has become the day when Christians come together to worship the Lord at Mass. Sunday is the Lord's Day because the Lord rose on a Sunday and the bodily resurrection of Christ is the foundational truth of Christianity. The early Christians switch from the Sabbath day, Saturday, to Sunday, is, according to Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, perhaps the strongest argument in favor of the resurrection. Even a cursory read of the Gospels makes it clear that Jesus' fellow Jews were obsessed with the Sabbath. Many refused to believe in him precisely because he seemed to flout the Sabbath laws by healing the sick or letting his disciples pick ears of wheat as they strolled along on a Saturday. Why then would the apostles, Jews to a man, put themselves at odds with their co-religionists, whom they were trying to convert, by emphasizing Sunday over Saturday, unless something completely unique and unexpected happened on a Sunday? Jesus rose from the dead, body and soul, never to die again. Sunday became the day of worship very early on in the life of the Church. In the Acts of the Apostles, St. Luke describes an event in Troas during one of St. Paul's missionary voyages. On the first day of the week, that is, on Sunday, when we were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them until midnight. In the book of Revelation, St. John recounts the powerful vision he had which took place on the Lord's Day. And St. Ignatius of Antioch, in the first decade of the second century, wrote, We have seen how former adherents of the ancient customs have since attained to a new hope, so that they have given up keeping the Sabbath, and now order their lives by the Lord's Day instead, the day when life first dawned for us, thanks to him and his death. But this early emphasis on Sunday did not immediately translate into uniform observance of the date of Easter. And it is the computation of the date of Easter that I want to focus on in this short talk. In light of the pandemic, many people were hoping that the Easter Triduum might be rescheduled so that they could attend these most solemn celebration in person. But although Rome has modified the ceremonies so that they can be carried out by a very small number of clerics, it is decided not to move the date of Easter. That would be too large a shift in the liturgical calendar. Not only would it make Lent into a potentially very long season, stretching well into May, June, or beyond, it would undermine the whole concept of a sacred calendar based on both the historical events in the life of Christ and the cosmological events which keep time. Although all Christians agreed on the importance of Sunday, there was a disagreement as to when to keep Easter. Should it be on a Sunday, or should it be celebrated on the Jewish feast of Passover, the 14th day of the month of Nisan? The Passover calculation is based on the moon, so it can happen on any day of the week. At the beginning of the second century, Christians in Rome would wait until the Sunday after Nisan 14 to celebrate Easter, whereas in some parts of the eastern Mediterranean, such as Smyrna, where St. Polycarp was bishop, Christians celebrated Easter on the same day as the Jewish Passover. At that time, the Pope and the eastern Christians agreed to disagree, while maintaining communion. But towards the end of the century, Around the year 195, Pope St. Victor I tried to impose unity of practice by condemning the Nisan 14 celebrations. This, however, started a major controversy, and Victor was rebuked by holy men such as St. Irenaeus of Lyon, who agreed with him on the date, but not on making it into a cause for dividing the Church. By the time of the Council of Nicaea in 325, Most Christians had adopted the Sunday celebration of Easter, which is something that the Council went on to stipulate. But there was still some division as to which of the 52 Sundays of the year. 
there were some differences among Christians as among Jews about how to calculate the beginning of Nisan. So one hears of disputes in the English church, finally settled at the Synod of Whitby in 664, in favor of adopting the Roman usage, which is still in force now. So how does one calculate the date of Easter? It is the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox. That way, the Sunday, the Lord's Day, is emphasized, and there is an attempt to tie the feast of Easter to the Jewish observance of Passover. Remember the, that the full moon comes roughly 14 days after the new moon. So at Easter, we are looking at the first Sunday after the 14th day of the month that coincides with the beginning of spring. With this reckoning, Easter can be as early as March the 22nd and as late as April the 25th. If we live until the year 2038, we will see the latest possible Easter date. But none of us will see a March the 22nd Easter because the next occurrence of that date will be in 2285. Once we have the date of Easter, a whole collection of liturgical dates falls into place. Ash Wednesday, Ascension, Pentecost, Trinity Sunday, Corpus Christi, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. To disrupt the Easter a date by moving it to an uncertain date would disrupt much more than just the tritium. And it is also important to have the idea of liturgical time to which we must conform rather than making it one more thing that we can alter to suit our ways. Although people argued about how the sun and the moon should be used to calculate Easter, once that has been decided, it is better to conform to that. One more question might arise. Why is the date of Eastern Rite or Orthodox Easter sometimes different from the Roman date? That has to do mainly with the differences arising out of the reform of the calendar under Pope Gregory the Thirteenth in 1582. Europe at the time was following the Julian calendar going back to the time of Julius Caesar. This has a leap year every four years. It turns out that this as is a little bit too much. So, in order to put the spring equinox back to March the 20th or 21st, the Gregorian calendar had to skip 12 days. And going forward, it will avoid the mistake of the Julian calendar by not making the years 2100, 2200, and 2300 leap years. But there is no need to get any more technical. Just remember that the Roman Catholic date of Easter is determined by the first Sunday after the first full moon after the spring equinox.